What's up guys, this is Cade Vlakos, and this is Wheel Talk, and this is the One Wheel Origin Story, and this is the end of the intro. What's up folks, this is what we have now, but how do we get here? This thing. This is the story of the One Wheel Origin. It started with an idea. Like all the best ideas, it started in a garage in the Bay Area. Enter Kyle. Okay, are we done? Kyle grew up snowboarding powder in the Canadian Rockies. Kyle hated walking to work. He wished he could snowboard there instead. So, Kyle had a dream of making a board that would make that possible. Here's the thing, folks. Everybody has dreams. Everybody wants to invent something, be someone, but it takes a certain kind of person to go to the hardware store, buy the parts, and see it through. Kyle didn't just grow up snowboarding. He also grew up making ground-penetrating radar and stacking Canadian science fair medals. He went to Stanford, studied engineering and neuroscience, and he landed his dream job at IDEO, building futuristic stuff for other really big companies. So Kyle was busy. But not too busy to take a board and a wheel and send it down a hill. That idea did not work so well. Kyle realized he was going to have to inject some crazy technology and probably some voodoo magic to make it awesome. Enter eight years of prototyping, trial and error, and test writing on nights and weekends. Yeah, I said eight years. In that time, electric car companies made batteries awesome. Cell phones made sensors smaller, and motors, well, we got motors covered. So all of this converged and made one wheels as we know it possible. Finally, Kyle had a one wheel prototype that worked, and all of his friends were like, dude, you have to make me one, that's so sick. But here's the thing, making a one-off one wheel made of custom parts costs more than your car, so that wasn't really an option. The only way to do it would be to produce one wheels at scale. So you have your dream job, but you also have this crazy idea, which you've made a reality. What would you do? Kyle quit his dream job, filmed a video, launched it on Kickstarter, and crossed his fingers. Okay, so you made that sound really easy, but it wasn't that simple. So I get a call from Kyle four days before CES saying, hey, what do you think about coming to Vegas and launching this product with me? I say yes, I get on a plane, I go, show up at the Airbnb he's supposed to be at, he's nowhere to be found. Uh, next morning, he's supposed to get there, nowhere to be found. I later figure out that he's back in California trying to make the board work in general. Um, so I end up getting a call from Kyle, he says, I'm in the middle of nowhere in Nevada, I think the board's working, I'm on 1% on my phone, and I'm launching this thing on Kickstarter, good luck. People freaked out. $630,000 in three weeks. Whoa. Things went well. So well that we have $630,000 of other people's money and we promised them this product that's supposed to be amazing, but all we have is a prototype that doesn't really work. And we're sitting there in this office thinking, what the hell are we gonna do? It's a pretty wild position to be in and you either have to make it happen or just go to Mexico and find a beach. It was at that moment, Kyle realized he'd be very busy all over again. Chapter one is over. Next time on Wheel Talk, we will the rest of the story. Like, subscribe, comment. Let's go, Simone.